Hey everybody, so I keep seeing everyone post on their Facebooks all these awesome photos of their Starbucks pumpkin lattes. I have my own little recipe that I use for those fall days where you're not really wanting to make a trip to Starbucks and you're just sitting around on your couch in your big chunky sweater curl up on the couch kind of days. Um, this one is free of artificial flavors which is uh, really good considering that a lot of times when you go to Starbucks you get a lot of those artificial flavorings in your coffee and that's good on occasion. Um, it's not gonna hurt you if you do that on occasion, but you don't wanna make a habit of continuously putting those kinds of chemicals into your body. Um, so I have my quick 10 minute uh, little um, latte that I do at home. Um, I thought about actually demonstrating it all, but um, I'm not exactly the neatest person, so when I cook, I tend to exemplify those qualities. So this is kind of the aftermath, um, the cleaned up aftermath of it. This is the finished product of the pumpkin coffee. If you can see how pretty that looks. Um, real simple ingredients. Um, basically, you're gonna go, wanting to take, um, you're wanting to get pumpkin, not the actual pumpkin pie filling, you're just wanting an unconcentrated uh, can of pumpkin. You're going to want to get your coconut milk. I get the light coconut milk just because um, I just like to use that, but I use the top of the kind with the full fat um, for my whipped topping. And you can use regular whipped topping if you want to. Um, I just have some unsweetened cocoa honey. Um, you don't have to use all, all of these ingredients, but... Um, it's not going to hurt it, so you can kind of pick and choose what you want to leave out. I love the pumpkin pie spice. It's one of my favorite things. Um, I use vanilla extract, and then you can get the, um, the nutmeg and the allspice. Um, I made a little thing to show you exactly how much. I don't know if you can read that. These is, this is exactly how much you're going to need of everything. You can kind of play around with it. It's not exact. Recipes are basically what you want to make out of them. If you want to add a little more to something, that's fine. It's not going to ruin the, the recipe. Um, I just use a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, um, one cup coconut milk, one half teaspoon of the pureed pumpkin, two tablespoons of the organic vanilla extract, uh, two tablespoons of the raw organic honey, and again, I'm just using the organic products because they're free of any other um, chemicals that they add in there. I use one-fourth um, teaspoon of ground cinnamon, pinch of nutmeg, um, and then you need your cup of coffee, and you can use espresso as well, um, and then just a pinch of cocoa powder. And what I do, I take the coconut milk and then I put it I take the coconut milk and then I put it in the um, on the stove to simmer and then I'll add my honey, I'll add the pumpkin and then I'll add the spices and the vanilla extract in there and then once you see it bubbling a little bit um, that means it's done so then you can take it off uh, and then you take your cup of coffee and you set that aside. You, basic, you can put as much or as little, I think this makes enough for two or three cups worth so I usually take about I don't know, it's a little less than half a cup, and then I'll put it at the bottom first. And then you take your coffee, and you pour that on top. So that gets it to mix in there really well. And then I usually take a little of that coconut milk, and then I'll um, whip it in there real good. Um, or you can just use regular whipped topping, it's either or. And then I put that on top, and then I take the pinch of the cocoa, and then I sprinkle that on top. And there you have a perfect fall pumpkin spice latte type of day.